Initially, Green City began in 1978 in a tenement flat in Glasgow with just four people and at that time it was probably when Whole Foods were coming into people's perception of uh, eating healthily and the need for non-refined foods was really uh, becoming quite strong and people couldn't find these uh, foods in their usual uh, shops. It's really important for me to be a member of a workers' co-op. Uh, the business model of the workers' cooperative is really a key to why I'm here, really. Um, we work for the benefit of the members. We get a, a member's dividend if we, a, if we our sales rise, for example, and basically that's profit-related payment. So there is an incentive there to work really hard uh, for the company. Well, we feel that we're part of a cooperative network uh, in the UK. We're a member of Cooperatives UK, which is the apex organisation for worker co-ops. We also trade, inter-trade with other co-ops, uh, such as Essential in Bristol and Suma, based in Halifax. Uh, one of our sister co-ops who we helped fund, uh, set up is in Inverness, Highland Whole Foods, and we trade with them as well. And the current challenge probably that faces us at Green City is we are becoming, or we have become pretty successful at what we do. Um, our sales have, despite the recession actually, our sales have uh, continued to, to rise as well. So we do, we are really looking to uh, increase our warehouse space. There's a, quite a lot of competition out there now. There's many different, including from other co-ops of course as well. Uh, but I would hope that we have our uh, niche market here, but we've also got a very loyal customer base to whom we're very, very grateful that they've supported us through the years because we wouldn't be here without them. And I would hope that the relationship that we've built with these customers over the years is a personal one as well as a professional one.